SportsRadioDetroit.com. We're at the Crowfoot and Pontiac covering the Detroit versus Ireland amateur boxing event. We have John Carey and Coach Spike. John is the founder of Bridges Beyond Boxing. John, if you could speak for a second about the foundation and how, how things got started and the events that you have today. Yeah, well, actually, I'm co-founder along with, with Spike here, uh, co-founder along with Brendan, Brendan Lowe and Joe Lowe also. So uh, kind of like a group effort. We got together with the guys coming in from Belfast. And uh, it was in 2016, got the call from Spike here. Um, they're looking to try to put a show together, a salvages show. They were trying to work with other gyms here. So um, through the boxing gods, we were able to pull it off in a five-week period and through a huge success on our first and, and through our Irish community here, uh, through the people in Corkdown Gaelic League and all Irish community got behind us, uh, working with like Ansel Stewart, Renee Munoz, uh, I, I leaned on them, I went to them and said, man, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I've never pulled off a show through the help of like Renee, Ansel. It, it was a huge group effort. Irish community came behind us. We, we reached out and asked for host families. I had a lineup at my door for host families. So um, I'm just a small little part of this whole thing. Uh, Spike here, on the other hand, you know, has been, been at this a lot longer than I have. And due to the success they've had there in Ireland with the cross-community work, we're trying to take a page out of their book, stealing a page out of their book, and saying, hey, listen, what we're doing is much more bigger than boxing. Boxing is a vehicle. Stealing spikes, that's his famous time. Stealing his, his quote here, it's, it's the vehicle that, that we're able to get these kids together, travel together, make a team together, and, and it actually works. And, and not only not, not only are kids benefiting from it, it's, it's us adults. Um, the adults are enjoying hosting the kids. I'm enjoying hosting the kids. We're, we're having a great time. We're learning about their culture and the, some of the struggles they have. And, um, you know, and, and in turn, when we send a team over there, they're able to take in the beauty and learn about the culture of Ireland. So, uh, so I'm just happy to be a part of it, you know, a very small part. You know, Spike here is, is, is the driving force behind this, him and Brendan and, and Joe, you know, without these guys pushing it in Ireland, we'd never been able uh, to pull this off because uh, as people know, it's not cheap to put a team together, fly over here and, and you know, put the whole show on. So we're constantly out there looking for the help of sponsors, any kind of donations so we can keep the program going. So uh, with that said, I'll, I'll turn it over to Spike here and he can say some words, words about the program as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, can I just say that we, we're, we're absolutely delighted with the turnout here today at the Crowfoot in Pontiac. Uh, I say we've uh, we've been on the road now for two weeks and we've boxed we boxed in Detroit. Then we're down in Cincinnati and we're back here. And I'm just tired, man. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. But I, I'd like to commend uh, Scott Davis for stepping up the plate this time around and putting putting the show together for us. Um, the kids kids absolutely love it, um, and we we love coming back time and time again to this great city. Uh, I know we're in Pontiac here, but Detroit, the, it's, it's a no-brainer for us. It's a, it's a, boxing, it's a boxing city. It's, it's well known for out, throughout the world. And uh, Northern Ireland at the moment is in a crest of wave with amateur boxing with some great fighters back home. And it's brilliant bringing, bringing the two communities together and uh, with, with our program. Um, obviously, back, back at home there, we've got uh, we've the Protestant Catholic situation. Don't really like talking about that anymore. We, we think we hope we're by all that. But we're bridging the communities. We're bringing our communities together. But the same here. We're we're, we're bridging race divides here. We've got we we, we, we love seeing the, the 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 black kids, the white kids. We love seeing Hispanic kids, all uh, the Muslim kids, all the different all the different mil- the, uh, you have in the melting pot, and bringing everybody together. And we're we're all really not that dissimilar. Once we're all together and we're on that boxing ring, and we're and we're down at Louisville uh, on day trip, and and people are, are are mixing together at the Muhammad Ali Center, and you see all the kids all. Together. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm only a small part of this as well, John. I know John's saying with the driving force, but it's, there's a lot of work and parts to keep a program like this going. And it's not a one-way ticket. We're here at the moment, um, but we want the American kids to sample our, cult- all cu- our culture and come over and obviously participate in a fantastic sporting event in Ireland, but also sample the culture and stay with host families and, and make lifelong friends. Um, Hopefully, giving them education, which is a big, big, uh, very important is as well. Giving, teaching them life skills, and hopefully making friends that'll last beyond boxing. And that, that's our name, and that's what it's all about: bridges beyond boxing. So, boxing's a vehicle, but it's what we can establish and what we can achieve with these kids that last far and beyond their boxing career. Because we're, they're, 
they're not all going to be world champions. It's very, very few and far between are, are maybe going to make a career in boxing. But if we can help them along the way, give them a leg up, maybe coming here to America or, or your kids coming over to Ireland and helping them, and, uh, making friends, and God knows what, what, what opportunities will come out of this. Um, we already have had... Uh, a kid from this from the, the gym here in Pontiac, Cameron Panky, he lived with me for three months um, l last season in Ireland and he competed over there and now I've got one of my kids has actually came here and he's, he's staying here for a year. So these are all byproducts that has come off the programme and the, the words are oyster really, you know, we're, we're, we're 2016 John, it's our third trip here and like, I mean we, we plan and keep coming back and we keep keeping the American kids coming back over. Uh, to Ireland and um, onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards. And I agree with boxing being the vehicle. You know, we covered the event in May uh, at the Hype Athletic Center, and it seems like the, the the kids really enjoy fighting each other, but being friends with each other, like you said. And they get to see something they may not have a chance to see with either the Irish kids coming here or the kids going from America over to Ireland. So we want to thank you guys for such a great event, and for all the listeners out there, we will always cover these events. So make sure you get tickets, make sure you come out and support. If you want a sponsorship for this event, please let us know. But this is a great event. So thanks to Coach Spike, thanks to John Kerry, great event. We'll see you guys next time.